Sean, what do you think about the current U.S. housing market? Definitely a different scenario from 2008. But what do you think will happen in the near future? Um, that's a good, good question. It really depends. It really depends. I know the housing market in Canada is about to take a serious tumble. Serious tumble. If if my estimates are correct, because what's happening with the threat of sanctions on? Uh, china and chinese uh the chinese community in canada united states because they're basically uh china is being threatened with the same types of sanctions that the west has put on russia right so what's going on i just came across one news article i think it was linked on our gilded page where chinese companies are going to start pulling out of uh oil oil natural gas and oil investments in canada the united states and the rest of the western world because if they bring in sanctions the way they have on china um, on russia the on china right then they're going to seize all those assets so what's going on right now i think we're at the beginning stages of chinese companies and chinese nationals liquidating assets in the western world in canada a huge chunk of the housing bubble has been created by money coming in from Asia into Canada to buy houses and stuff like this. Right? Uh, anybody that thinks it's not, man, you got your head up your ass, right? Oh, well, you can't put it. Yes, it is 100%. There are people that know it's not because that's it. There's regulation involved. There's uh, to a certain degree sc scarcity, but scarcity comes through regulation in large part, right? There's um, there's liquidity so much money being put in the market but a huge chunk of it the bubble in canada in the housing uh, market was definitely because of money coming in from china specifically right and hong kong and stuff like this um so if they're going to start pulling money out we're about to see a serious hiccup in canadian economy and you can see that happening right now with the canadian banking stocks breaking through the 50 day moving average and most likely going to be bouncing off the 200 day moving averages right so they're about to do a bounce off the 200 day moving averages and i know i've been following the banking stocks because if you follow our gilded page uh server and discord a family has been buying puts in some canadian banking stocks right so what happens in canada in regards to housing will also be reflected in the united states just the, the other way around as well right but i think the us is about to go through a serious hiccup in the housing market as well one of them is because inflation is kicking up through the roof wells fargo just came out and uh, uh, announced in their financials that mortgage applications were down right so wells fargo dropped in price their stock I think it was picking i know this because family was buying puts on wells fargo and stuff like this anyway playing the markets so wells fargo banks in the united states are now coming out with financials saying oh mortgage applications are down right because mortgage rates are through the roof or going through the roof slowly right what's going on wall street has been phoning money through some of their hedge funds blackrock and all that jazz buying up huge chunks of property there's so much going on there's so much going on right so that's my reply to your question sean um and, we, and we, if we see hyperinflation you're going to see the prices go insanely up because the money doesn't mean anything right so that's my answer uh sean when you asked me what do you think about the current u.s housing market it's a def definitely a different scenario than 2008 i agree with you there where it goes is anybody's guess certain places are going to collapse the housing prices are going to collapse certain places the housing prices are going to go through the roof because the united states is not homogenous right states have huge uh rights and they're uh in some states they're not locking down their societies and in they're allowing the economy to prosper for people to prosper for businesses to work to for for people to be able to feed their families right in certain states they're locking everything down collapsing small business and um lonely piggy thank you very much for the subscribe uh and they're collapsing their uh, economies and they want to put everyone on ubi welfare well 
if I was in one of those states, and those are mainly the DNC states, I begin getting out of those states because the crime rate is going to go through the roof. Uh, resources are going to be scarce. Uh, services are going to uh, completely collapse. Education is going to be garbage. Healthcare is going to completely collapse. Like literally, if you're in one of those states and one of those provinces in Canada, BC is one of them, I'd be looking into uh, doing something else, right? 